Folks, I'm going to read you a portion of an article, and as I do, I can guarantee a couple of things. First of all, I can guarantee you probably haven't heard this story unless you've been watching my live broadcasts over the last week, number one. And number two, let me just simply tell you that if the facts tied to this story are completely accurate, then the man who is supposedly in charge of our country is treasonous. He should be in jail for what he's doing because this is pure evil. Now, let me before I even talk about this, and yes, I'm a little bit flustered over it, let me just simply say that when we look at Iran, Iran is a country that hates the United States of America. Not only does it hate the United States of America, it is very likely responsible for multiple assassination attempts on our previous president. It is responsible for terrorism around the world, whether it be direct or via proxy, and it certainly hates the Israeli state. It does not believe that the Jews even have the right to exist. As a matter of fact, if you look at the charters of terrorist organizations that function as a proxy of Iran, it is their belief that the Jewish state should be completely eliminated as well as all Jews. Now, that is exactly the view of Iran, and what they are doing is not just demonically inspired, it's satanically inspired. Now, I'm going to just simply say that that's why this story is far worse. Let me read a portion of this article to you, and it will make you sick to your stomach. It says this, it says, in the same week when we learn the terrorist country of Iran is allegedly planning assassination plots against former President Trump and other officials, we now learn that the Brandon or Biden administration is proposing a deal which would net that country over a trillion dollars over the next half dozen years, according to the Gateway Pundit. I'm just going to say, the United States of America is going to continue down its path of judgment if we continue to pursue anti-Semitic foreign policies. This is insane. Why would we give Iran one dime? The JCO, uh, JCPOA has been worthless. None of it has been successful. You look at all the talks that are going on right now that they're, you know, they're trying to go around the existing JCPOA or anything else for that matter, and everything is failing. The United States just recently admitted the fact that they can't get Iran to comply with anything. So what do you do? You bribe them with more money? You make a trillion dollars? I mean, do you know how much a trillion dollars is? Folks, this is evil, and our president should be held accountable for this. I'm telling you, this is completely, completely dark, and it is demonic. And understand this. This is not just a political battle. This is a battle between good and evil, and we are watching evil make every possible concerted effort to prevail. And I have to tell you this. The Bible says that as Christians, we are the preserving influences. As we are filled with the Spirit, we act as preserving influences in this world. And it is time for us to continue to vocalize how completely unacceptable and evil and, yes, illegal this actually is. It is wrong. We need to start praying. We need to start being vocal. And we need to ask that God will continue to tear apart the evil doings of this current regime because what they're doing is dark. Folks, Jesus is coming soon. We see evidence of that, and this thing is really bad. It's time to pray. It's time to stand up for righteousness in every area that we can, every single place, every legal remedy we have we need to pursue, and we need to engage in the spiritual battle and continue to fight as we pray and as we continue to take a stand for the things that are right. All right, folks, there it is. God bless you.